greetings fellow humans and welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday with T with JD. And that is hot. <laughs> uh, this is actually going back to another uh, past, past Top 5 Wednesday that I didn't want to miss out on. And it is uh, Future Classics and this was from March 29. Let us know the books you think will be considered classics one day. Uh, so let's just jump in. Uh, some um, some books isn't uh, some, uh, some books aren't um, I've mentioned before in, in other tags. Uh, others are new that I've never mentioned ever before. So pay attention. If you've been listening to if you've been watching this channel, uh, you know that I am a big fan of the Discworld series things that I'm just getting into it and I'm blown away and just to think that over 40 books are just waiting to be devoured that is not the makings of, of at least a classic series I don't know what is because some people can hold it for a trilogy or maybe five books or whatever or even seven books as the Harry Potter series clearly demonstrates but 42 plus books that are epic that's pretty cool um Again, I highly recommend this world to anyone who's a writer or really enjoys wordsmithery. More than the plot, uh, it's the ideas and the use of language that is amazing in this world. Far, far elevated in comparison to so many things that I read. And it's just so pleasant and fun. Second, I have mentioned Watchmen before. Uh, and the thing is that there are other graphic novels or comics that I enjoy more, but... I think the impact of Watchmen uh, really shook things up. Uh, Alan Moore uh, did amazing with that, with V for Vendetta, with Swamp Thing. But Watchmen is the one that when I read, I was like, this does not work in any other medium. And just for that, uh, for taking such bold steps uh, that no other medium can tackle, I think it deserves uh, mentioned as a future classic and something that should be covered in even you know in even classes because as a visual story medium it's amazing uh, third one this one I actually haven't mentioned before and I think it can make it to the role of classic because it is weird it is uh, Skellig S-K-E-L-L-I-G if you haven't read this book I'm not surprised I, I haven't heard anyone mention this book this is a book that uh, won won a couple of prizes and it's just one of those books that leaves like you know like a really shaky weird feeling within you um, and that you just read something very important and just for that um, and for portraying something with wings in a different way uh, it deserves definitely deserves a nod and it, and a lot of people I, I haven't heard anyone mention Skellig before I might have not done a search for it but you know it's not it's not a court of thorn and roses uh, it's not infernal devices it's not uh, city of bones it's not uh, it's none of these YA uh, books this is a book that doesn't get as much recognition and it's a quick read so definitely this is if you have a library card and it's there, this is a book that I highly recommend. Uh, number four, um, following the, the line of uh, the Discworld books, I have to mention The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, it's not whether it will be, it, it, it's all a matter of time because it is one of the smartest books that I've ever read. It is fun beyond belief. I laughed out loud so many times. It is beautifully irrational um, and just for that I do think it deserves uh, a mention in as a future classic and it's tackled so many genres uh, mediums excuse me uh, radio TV film um, and books again just a vividly imaginative story and you really really should check out if you haven't checked out already and finally, I want to keep this list light and, and, and 
include other books and not the ones that I mention often. Um, and definitely The Phantom Tollbooth is, I think, the best kid's book I've ever read. Uh, it's probably for like eight or nine year olds, nine, nine to 12. It is fantastic and it makes grammar fun, it makes math fun. And just for that, and f for, for being a book that I would gladly read again, uh, it's definitely worth a mention as a classic. So those are my five. Uh, if you've made this video, by all means, put the link below. If you have any comments on the five that I mentioned, by all means, offer. That's what the comment section is for. So until next time, peace, love, and monkey rolls.